What's up, Aries? Welcome to your April reading. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and support. I appreciate you. I'm so thankful that you're here with me. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you for the month of April. See what's going on, what you should look out for, be aware of. Um, you know the drill. If this reading helps or resonates, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box. But yeah, let's get into this reading area to see what's going on for you in the month of April. What's going on for Aries, please? Show me clearly messages for Aries, somewhere nice Venus for the month of April 2023. Any messages for Aries, somewhere nice Venus? for the month of april y'all this is quiet this is specific okay this might be a specific reading just want to give a heads up because this deck is quiet as a mouse are you quiet are you keeping something hidden are you laying low here are you keeping something low key here we have the fox with the with the crocodile are, have you recently gone into a relationship but you're keeping it on the down low or gotten into some sort of commitment or got like you know you have something in the work some sort of wish fulfillment and you're like shh i gotta keep this on the down low i gotta keep this a secret for the moment like <laughs> okay oh my god literally the tiger at the bottom of the deck that's a very secretive energy there's something about ooh, you're keeping something quiet you're keeping it very careful of like who you're telling your business to or spirit is saying in the month of april keep it hush hush keep it quiet at least for the moment at least for now at least at the beginning of april you need to keep something quiet okay you seem really happy like really really happy with what's going on you are expanding on your dreams you're building on your dreams and there is such fulfillment here you feel so passionate and inspired and you're really just feeling like you're living up to your most authentic life and your most authentic self and you just feel in total alignment like april it's your birthday season celebrate yourself right the the otter does talk about celebration so you better celebrate you better live it up maybe have a little party a little get together just celebrate yourself you know treat yourself to something nice invest in yourself do the things that make you feel good okay but yeah like regards to something that you're really excited about or something that you're really happy about and again it could be about some sort of commitment it could be about some sort of relationship a new job offer some sort of grand news but it's like you're keeping it quiet or like you're keeping it silent or like with the tiger this is the energy of like kind of just keeping your mouth shut and not saying anything and just observing it feels very like scorpionic like i don't know maybe you got scorpio placements maybe you have a scorpio moon or rising or someone else um in scorpio but it feels very like shh I'm only going to tell people I trust, a few select people, the big news, because I don't need no party poopers or shamers or negative Nellies trying to ruin or sabotage my day, right? It's making me think of, <laughs> why it make, it's making me think of, you know that, you know that song with Rihanna and Kanye? And it's like the most random like collaboration but at the beginning he's like woke up and optimist right it's like you're waking up you're happy sun was shining you're positive but then like someone's talking shit it's like you don't want to even indulge in any of that negativity right because that's just gonna you're gonna want to fight somebody and you're like no i'm not choosing violence I'm going to stay peaceful. I'm going to stay zen. I'm going to keep my cool. And I am blocking out the bullshit. I'm blocking out the haters. I'm blocking out the negativity. Leave me alone. If you're not adding value to my life, to my happiness, to my pockets, shh, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself because I don't want to hear it. <sighs> yeah, I see like in April the crocodile and the fox like this is just you vegging like you might take a break or you might be thinking like maybe you're on spring break or maybe you have some sort of um time off or you're kind of craving um some time to just relax veg chill and just enjoy and just catch your breath like spirit kind of saying like yo like april is the month where you can just slow down catch your breath catch some waves maybe maybe you're going out in nature maybe you're being by water um uh, maybe that would benefit from you benefit you benefit from you what am i saying that would probably benefit you being near water especially because we are heading into eclipse season and we actually have the solar eclipse 
coming up in your sign at the end of the month and you're gonna be feeling that energy we have the full moon and a libra coming up at the beginning of april so you'll also be feeling that too you maybe you're feeling just tired lethargic not a whole lot of energy um so spirit is saying just like revitalize yourself self-care pour into your cup nurture yourself and when you do that the abundance the blessings are just going to overflow when you invest in yourself and you make yourself feel good that's how it just continually comes back to you just spreading that to yourself to others um but yeah there's definitely some sort of expansion going on here um even on like a spiritual level going through upgrades going through some sort of um like awakening or changes some of you guys are like really tapping into your gifts and abilities especially if you're a healer or a light worker yourself or you are discovering your own uh, abilities psychic abilities intuitive abilities you know clairvoyance all that stuff um so that's really cool right but maybe that's like i'm gonna keep this kind of on the down low because still kind of taboo topic there's lots of people that judge that kind of stuff and so i don't need that judgment or i don't need like people behaving in like wacky ways you know so i would just be selective of who i share this information with so keep it on the down low keep it on the low key okay um so yeah that was at the bottom of the deck and i love that the owls also underneath which is about blessings and good opportunities your angels guys ancestors around you there's such spiritual protection around you so that's really nice i'm loving the vibe for you aries um let's see what deck do i want to use for your reading hmm. i think i might just go with my illuminati yeah I'm gonna go with this one also ignore my finger i busted my nail this morning shit hurts it looks so funny but <laughs> whatever i was like i don't give a fuck so just don't make fun of me i don't i don't give a fuck if you do make fun of my stubby little nail i don't care <laughs> anyways just saying if you're like what's wrong with your hand it's like that's that's why nothing all right, what's going on for Aries? Summonizing Venus in April 2023. What do they need to know? Be aware, look out for any insight, wisdom, guidance. Um, you could be taking a break from something as well. I think I already said that. Yeah, like literally taking the break. Um, for some, this is a specific message, might not be for everybody, but some of you might be like taking a break from a person. <laughs> You're like, um, I just need some space. Leave me alone. All right, what's going on for Aries? We need to cool off. That kind of vibe. All right, what's going on for Aries in April? Brain fart. Did you see that? I just was like, what am I reading for? We have the Hierophant. We also have the Alchemist. So you're trying to figure out where you want some sort of relationship commitment to go. There's a lot on your mind. And you're just like, what do I do with you? Or what do I do with this thing? Because you've been sticking to the traditions or you've been sticking to, you know, the mundane or just, you know, like it's just been a repetitive kind of same old, same old. And you're kind of like, do I want to continue down this road? Is there something else? You're kind of starting to look at other options eyes are wandering you're like hmm do i want to stay committed to this or do i want to see where other things may go or lead me let's see what's going on for aries you might be dealing with a taurus we have taurus energy out here okay queen of wands there's your energy showing up what else is going on for aries in april we have the five of cups Aw. You will move through that though six of swords the tower three of pentacles and also the two of wands at the bottom so you might have some sort of choice or change occurring in your workplace or where you live maybe it's some sort of um like friendship circle or it could be involving multiple people um getting into some sort of creative outlet would probably benefit you because you're the five of cups out here aries so there might be some emotional times coming up or you're just feeling very deeply and that's kind of why you're like i just need a break like i just need some space i need some privacy i got some emotional things that i just need to take care of i gotta deal with i just you know you're just 
trying to get your mind right and get in your comforts right the queen of wands she loves her comfort so spirit is saying like when you're feeling down or sad or disappointed about something um really just comfort and nurture yourself love yourself be around animals be around children be around nature go outside be like you know maybe garden or something like that be with the flowers or the trees or just like really connect with earth and gaia as you are dealing with you know this crap because the way this is looking at least at the moment and i'm like damn like what the hell where where did all this otter energy come from where, where did it go where did it go <laughs> why right why it's okay it's life but you're gonna get through this but literally the six of swords to the tower he's riding into the tower he's like <laughs> normally if it was reverse i'd be like okay you're leaving some shit behind you know you're walking and you, there's the explosion in the back it's a slow motion walk you're walking away from some sort of like fire you shit hit the fan and you're walking away maybe you started it right look at what you're jumping into what you are heading into yeah um whew. this is a big one but you see it coming it's not a surprise hmm scorpio energy and i said i was like i'm feeling scorpio vibes for some reason it's like hmm okay yeah this might be tying in with um the eclipses will be happening in later on taurus scorpio like next month may so this might be something that even like dude uh, this is supposed to be your april reading we're already talking about may i'm like what the fuck like we're still in march as i'm doing your reading anyways um the tower three of pentacles and the two of wands so you might have some sort of change here about either your work maybe your studies maybe your career path maybe some of you are just suddenly deciding like this path isn't for you this commitment this job this career i already said career <laughs> whatever you're like i just can't do this anymore some of you you're making a change of um like it's a big deal like about some sort of commitment you're like sudden like a sudden change in heart here the two of wands so we'll look into that and you could be disappointed or like sad like you didn't expect it to be this way but i don't know if it's like i don't know if you like this five of cups i'm like because i'm just like again i'm talking about this otter energy i'm like are you that disappointed about it i don't know because it's telling me you got some amazing things to look forward to but like none of the the tarot cards are really talking about that so i'm like okay where is this where will that come in where will this come in is that after the tower because i feel like this tower hasn't happened yet that's probably it so you're kind of you're with the hierophant to alchemist like let's just be real here okay talk about the hierophant we're gonna apply this to a relationship now okay so if you're not in a relationship whatever take it however it applies right if it resonates it's not gonna be for everybody but so some of you you're in this long-term commitment or long-term relationship and you're looking at the future with this person and you may are real you might be realizing like i've outgrown them i don't resonate with them maybe you know i've gotten used to them maybe i'm relying on them whether it be because we live together or i'm i financially need their money or you know something that they offer you you need or you you just kind of gotten used to and you're starting to really look at the long term and you know something's just not right or you're kind of looking around and thinking about other things other paths other roads you could take and you're like maybe i don't want to be in this anymore right maybe this isn't what makes me happy anymore at the moment it did but things change and you know, it doesn't mean like, oh, you go through some sort of dramatic shit or like a, a bad argument or some shit hits the fan or a big betrayal. It's just like sometimes you just outgrow people. And it doesn't even have to be about love. Like it can even be about like certain relationships or friendships that you're just like, hmm, like I don't, you know, you spend time with a friend 
and no there's no hard feelings nothing's wrong with them like you just outgrown each other like you don't really have much in common anymore just like you know something's just not mixing well and you know that you're there's no denial about it it does make you sad though with this five of cups you're just like dang like you know i really thought that this person or this thing or this job i really thought for a moment in my life i really thought this was all i wanted this was all i ever hoped for and oh my god we're gonna have this for the rest of our lives or you're gonna be part of my life for a long time or you know i'm gonna be at this job for a long time or this is you know the path i'm gonna stay to and this is my destiny and then you know time goes on things change you change and you just kind of outgrown the whole shebang and you're just kind of disappointed about it and that's okay but you will move on from it but it's just it looks like you're riding into some sort of like shake up here or with the tower it's just like maybe there's some sort of epiphany or maybe you're wondering can this be repaired can we fix this right um a little glue a little duct tape maybe we can fix this tower maybe it's not all doomed but look the two of wands it's like you kind of have a choice it's like okay basically you have the choice do you just let the tower burn or you do you try and fix this or repair this or um try to preserve what's left over like the leftovers right you're you're questioning do i do i eat these leftovers are the leftovers still good enough or should i just throw them out if i eat these leftovers am i gonna get sick from it well if i might get sick from it well maybe i should just maybe i shouldn't risk it maybe i should just completely get rid of it right <laughs> so you're like you're questioning it you're at this crossroad two of wands are like what do i do so yeah um with the crocodile the advice is to just wait this is a sign saying wait wait for more information don't jump to conclusions at the moment take some time really do some thinking about it um be by yourself really connect with your heart your intuition okay but this is a big deal it's a big change it's significant and ultimately i guess going back to the the bottom of this animal spirit deck is like with the snake which is all about expansion you are growing you are evolving you have big things for your future and you can't shrink yourself or stay in environments where you've outgrown and i literally just i'm on my community tab like a few days ago i had posted something like that like don't stay in environments that you've out don't shrink yourself to stay in environments that you've outgrown it's like something like that i believe i literally just posted that like a couple days ago and so intuitively you know what needs to be done you need to follow your gut you need to follow your intuition you have to do what's going to make you the happiest because you don't want to miss out on your life and the blessings it has to offer so i'm kind of getting the vibe like you're you're making a tough choice to to walk away or leave something behind or that could be something that you're thinking about or weighing out but i don't think you've made this choice just yet um but it's just something to think about. Let me look into let me look into the six of swords and the tower for Aries. Six of swords and the tower. Tell me about this. Something's like escalating or it's like reaching a peak. Tell me the six of swords and the tower for <clears throat> Aries, somewhere in Icing Venus. Six of Swords and the Tower for Aries in April. Why is this here? Talk about the Six of Swords and the Tower. So we have the Magician. Yeah, you're initiating it. You are... This is your choice. Um, you know what you're heading into. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords and the Tower. Six of Swords and the Tower. Thank you eight of pentacles could be about your work thank you the king of cups reverse oh yeah um uh, i see that you are distancing yourself at least emotionally uh you're putting your emotions on the back burner or you're you're trying your best to like detach from this emotionally um whew because if you get into your heart then you will it's like you you may have a lot of love 
for a specific person or for a job maybe there's lots of history right you may if this is a job it's like you see them as family this could be representing where you live where you live maybe you live with family or you live with a person or you live with certain people and like you know you've grown to really love them but at the same time something about this environment or something about this situation it just you feel emotionally un not fulfilled emotionally unfulfilled um Maybe you don't feel safe emotionally too. Like you don't feel safe enough to open up or be vulnerable or like, you know, there's this vibe where it's like you don't even feel safe enough to open up and be vulnerable with your emotions. That's why we have the, the five of cups and what was the other card? Anyways, I, I got that vibe where you're like dealing with this kind of in private or like you know it's a crocodile you're just like i need some space i need some time to myself where i can just kind of like sit and sort through my feelings without anyone judging me or telling me what to do or what to say or what to feel or how to handle this like you know so there's this energy i'm feeling here where it's just like you don't feel supported or the amount of effort and love hasn't been reciprocated and again so the magician is like what are you going to do about this so some of y'all you're like let it burn baby let it burn to the ground <laughs> um let me look into the two of wands this choice here let's get a little bit more insight this what this choice may be about or what you might lead to um what you might be doing two of wands why is the two of wands here for aries summer and icy venus in april two of wands for aries Oh, I just got this like gut feeling like, you know, <laughs> you know, that feeling in your gut where it just kind of like your stomach just drops. And I also kind of felt that in my heart, too. Oh, Whew. all right, Aries, I'm sending you so much love your way. Tell me this two of wands for Aries, summer and Ising Eunice in April, four of cups. You had too much of something. Something's been going on for too long. It's just, it's not what you want anymore. Knight of Cups could be about a romantic in, romantic interest, romantic relationship, King of Pentacles. Maybe, uh, ooh, what is it? Seven of Swords reversed. The World, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You might be staying, for some, you're staying in this partnership or relationship because you financially rely on this person maybe they pay more of the bills or they provide you some sort of stability here because we have the king of pentacles not a cup in the king of pentacles this is someone who's providing um stability as well as also um, emotional support like this is someone that has a lot of love and cares a lot for you but it's like for some reason you just don't you don't you don't you're just not feeling it the four of cups it was what you wanted before you wanted this before it made you happy before but now it just you you might get the ick or like <laughs> you know like and you're like what the hell is wrong with me am i self-sabotaging here seven of the swords am i just self-sabotaging and getting my own way um i don't think with the seven of swords because it can represent like keeping things hidden it's like i would say you have kept your dissatisfaction like hidden like even if you're dealing with this is like a romantic interest or someone that you're in a committed relationship with it's like things have gotten really stale or really boring or like the chemistry is kind of faded away the butterflies the you know honeymoon phase has kind of died and you know you might not be feeling that same passion uh even physically right like you might just kind of be feeling like damn like we're not we're just kind of roommates we're not even lovers like we used to be but things have changed like something about that dynamic between you and another person just isn't hitting the same like it's just something's lacking or something's missing and you're just like well you kind of you're kind of like guilting yourself some of you might be like feeling guilty for feeling this way um but again like no matter how this applies no matter what because there's many different ways and i talked about so many different things again how are this applies for you aries i just see like you've outgrown whatever this is you've outgrown it and 
It's like, even with the Five of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, look at how he's, like, reaching out. He's, like, he's reaching out. Like, he doesn't want to let go. Look at how he's, like, reaching out to this Ace of Cups. He's, like, oh, like, I don't want to let this go. And, like, I have a lot of love here. And I, I, I feel things very deeply. And, you know, I care a lot about you. Or I care a lot about this. But I just, I can't bring myself to stay here any longer. This isn't good for me. This isn't good for you. This isn't good for whoever's involved. Like, this has to be released. This has to be done. Like, I can't continue doing this anymore. Because I'd be lying to myself. I'd be lying to you. No, you know, so... Oh, damn, Aries. So, it looks like in April, you're, you're making a choice to leave something behind. Whew, and it's a head over heart decision, it feels. Because, again, it's like, you could choose to stay... But at the same time, it wouldn't be good for you. It wouldn't be fair for the other individual, other person involved. And also we had the chariot underneath all those cards, which is all about movement. And for some, even travel. Two of Wands, Justice, and the chariot. You need to do what's going to be best for you. You have to do what's best for you. You got to do the right thing. And you already know what that... You already know what needs to be done. So that's that's it y'all all right this is ultimately going to get you and bring you to your happiness but at the moment you're not there damn like this reading took a complete turn like <laughs> it started off so strong i was like oh my god yeah you're celebrating you're having the best time and then, and then in the universe not universe spirit just like ha, 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 ha. Uh, ha, ha. isn't that funny how things happen yeah Ugh, Aries, I'm sending you so much love. Obviously, won't be for everybody. Use your discernment, right? General reading. Um, but for those who resonate, let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box. And yeah, Aries, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!